Welcome back, I haven't been posting videos recently, but that's mostly because of technology. I finally got a new camera, we're going to try and get some more videos going again. Um, sorry about the lighting, the lighting isn't great. I have uh, something on the way for, and to help with lighting, but it won't be here for a little bit and I have some time to paint today, so I am going to paint in poor lighting. Um, so bear with me with that, um, next video should have much better lighting, but what I'm doing is I've decided to repaint a whole bunch of my Imperial, Imperial ships and squads into a um, color scheme of my choice. Um, now that can obviously be whatever I want. There are certain things that I don't like. I don't like black, I don't like to paint ships in large swaths of black. I mean, some highlights are okay, but I'm not a big fan of black. Also not a huge fan of fan of um, large swaths of red. Small bits of red are okay. Um, I'm also a fan of the Rogue One kind of whiter look to Imperial ships. I'm not going quite white. What I'm going to do is my base color is going to be Screaming Skull. And Screaming Skull it's a color that I've, I really like working with. It's kind of a uh, cream off-white type color. Um, it takes a wash really well, um, and I like it a lot. And I'm going to do highlight highlights in Genesteela Purple. If you've watched my videos, you know I like that color as well. So this is going to be a made-up color scheme of my own. I'm not going to be doing paneling or anything like that. What I'm going to try and do is add different um, stripes or patterns in the purple. So it's mostly going to be the Screaming Skull off-white with some highlights of the purple in geometric patterns and we will see how that goes. So my first ship, I've, I did a couple of squads just to get um, a feel for the color scheme, make sure it was something that I wanted to do. I've already primed this um, I've posted some other videos on priming, you can watch those. Um, I may do some more in-depth things on different steps. I may just do a priming video coming up um, to help folks out with that. I get a lot of questions about um, how you use the can, how, you know, how to prime, how much primer to use, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so I may come into that soon. Now one interesting thing with the Arcanids after I primed it, I had never, I played with this many times, I never realized that all, there was all kinds of flashing around the bridge, um, so I actually spent this fair amount of time trimming that off too. I was surprised I had never noticed it, but um, until I primed it, it I had never been made aware of it, so um, I did spend some time cleaning that up as well. So why don't we get started, we're going to do our base coat now, and after that we'll let it dry and we'll get um, to some of the purple highlights. All right, now we're dry, and I'm going to mask off um, pretty much just a straight line on the, the left side of the ship, right side for you, um, using this hobby masking tape. This is 3 mil wide. Um, almost wish I had gotten the 2 mil wide. That was the narrowest one that they had, but I just thought it seemed a little too narrow. But we're going to go with this, so let me mask this off. I may let the film ro roll here for a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to be masking off a line on the top and the bottom. This is a little bit flexible.
it's nice. It's a little bit flexible, so you get a little bit of leeway with it. Now, these ships do have a lot of texture to them, so being able to mask this off completely without any paint getting under it somewhat unrealistic probably so I do expect to have to go back and do a little touch up that's interesting I always love when you kind of dissect the Architons here the Architons has turbo lasers on the top and the bottom facing forward it's a broadside ship what were they thinking Of course, when you look at the ISD, the ones that are molded into that, those are facing sideways. It's a front firing ship. So I don't want too wide a stripe here. something impossibly narrow either. So this is actually put the gun right in the middle of the line. That's fine. I'm going to go back to the, um, the turbo lasers and a few other mechanical parts. I'm going to be painting the Keniscus Gray. So I'll be going over those. I think I'm going to speed up the video now. I'll mask off the bottom and get to painting. So that came out probably even a little bit better than I expected with the masking tape. I don't see a lot of touch-ups that I'm going to have to do. Maybe a couple minor ones, but not that much. I think that's going to work out well. And so we'll let that dry a bit, come back, do our Mechanicus Gray um, bits, then after that. I think uh, we'll probably get to doing a wash, then probably a dry brush, engine glow, all of that. Pretty happy with how it's coming so far. Okay, now we're going to use a little Mechanicus Gray on the guns and a few mechanical areas. Uh, and just a reminder, I have been pre-preparing all of my paints before I start the camera. Water down everything, always water down your paints. Alright, so I, um, off camera I cleaned up a few spots of paint on the uh, Architons here. Um, it wasn't anything major, it would have been very difficult to show on camera. But I'm pretty happy with where we're at now. And I'm going to uh, do a wash. And um, I'm going to do a relatively light wash on this because I, I want it to stand out. I don't want to look too dirty.
Alright, our wash is dry. I'm gonna do a very light dry brush now on the Screaming Skull. I'm trying to avoid the Mechanicus and the purple and should be pretty close to being done. Um, also, I'll probably also do the engine glow at this point as well. And here's the finished model. I thought it came out pretty well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Click the bell for alerts. I do plan to do more videos coming up soon. Like this and more instructional videos as well. Thank you very much and have a great day.